In news from Jamaica, Sunday, May 1 was the first day of Child Month. In a televised broadcast, State Minister of the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information, Floyd Green, noted that the government has recommitted to the aim of having all children raised in an environment free from abuse and neglect. Minister Green says the latest statistics from the Office of the Children's Registry shows a 10% increase in reported cases of abuse. In 2014, the Office of the Children's Registry received 8,450 reports of sexual emotional and physical abuse combined with 5,818 cases of neglect, a 10% increase from the preceding year. However, we are quite aware that there is still a high percentage of unreported cases. This is a prevailing culture of silence that must be broken. We must begin to fundamentally look at evolving the culture of caring for our children with increasingly more reports of child abuse, neglect, trafficking, and child labor, rehabilitation, protection, and care are becoming even more relevant and necessary. This is why this government will be embarking on a multifaceted approach. Mr. Green says he, the Minister of Education intends to strengthen the Living in Family Environment LIFE program, which has been unemployed by the Child Development Agency in an effort to overcome these challenges. Research shows that children do better when they live in loving families that can help to support their growth and development. The main components of the LIFE program are family care, reintegration and adoption. Unfortunately, fewer persons are opening their homes and hearts to participate in the foster care program and this has slowed the pace on the number of children being placed in a family environment. The ministry will be meeting with our foster parents to assess how we can strengthen the program. Through public awareness, we hope to increase promotion and recruitment of families to participate in foster care. Child Month 2016 is being commemorated under the theme Healthy Children Build a Stronger Nation. Minister Green says as part of the commemoration activities, the ministry will be launching a national public education campaign. This Child Month, the ministry will launch and embark on a national public education campaign entitled Our Children JA. The purpose of the campaign is to solidify in the minds of the general public that every Jamaican child is our collective responsibility and must be treated as a national asset. We want to provide all Jamaicans with knowledge on the best practices and principles of taking a holistic approach to the raising and well-being of our children. With this campaign, the ministry intends to usher in a new era of public-private sector collaboration and broadly spread messages that can improve citizens' knowledge about the education, health, protection and parenting of children, while encouraged that it takes a village to raise a child. 